So I've decided to leave self-isolation for a while to keep my sanity and introduce you to one of my favorite places in the New York, New Jersey area. This behind me is Snake Hill. Now, it might have a tacky name, but there's a reason for this, actually. When the first settlers got here, apparently the place was so teeming with snakes that that was immediately what it was known as Snake Hill, which it is still today. Unfortunately, there are not that many snakes to be found, but the habitat is slowly been coming back, and the animals are coming back. We can find northern water snakes around here, which is what I'm assuming they probably saw en masse. But the crazy thing about this place is it holds a really dark secret. Many, many years ago, about the turn of the century, there used to be a crematorium here and a sanitarium. Basically, it's where they sent people to die. And what they didn't know was that there were still bodies here, even long after the building was gone. So apparently a few years ago, the New Jersey Turnpike decided that they wanted to do an expansion, and that meant that they had to um, encroach a little bit upon the, uh, the rock area here. Well, when they started blasting and digging it up, they discovered over 4,000 bodies buried under the ground. And a lot of people think that there are still more remaining here. unlike anything else geologically speaking for hundreds of miles around the current size and height of the stony hill is literally but a fifth of its original erupting presence the rock had yielded untold geological treasure and today still remains largely unexplored despite its obvious presence on the landscape on the way to New York City. And the best thing is that wildlife is returning. Recently, ravens have returned to nesting on the hill after several decades of being absent from the area. Today, local fisheries are rebounding as an increasing amount of habitat is identified and preserved because the city is finally returning back to a more natural state. This unique habitat is super important for all the wildlife in the area. It's a very important breeding ground and stopping area for the animals that live in the New York City area or pass through. The estuaries here are teeming with life and they're basically the nursery schools for all of the fish in the region. Mostly the saltwater fish, things like um, sea bass will be born in the estuaries out here and then make their way out, striped bass, um, all kinds of really cool creatures. So this is a really important habitat and most people don't even know it exists. In fact, the state tried for well over a century to make it disappear. They wanted to literally drain the swamp and they tried in some places but it didn't work out. Thankfully today they're recognizing how important this habitat is and they are starting to preserve more and more of it because it's so important outside of an urban area. You have to remember the animals that do thrive in the urban environment, things like peregrine falcons, of course all the fish and the birds and the wildlife that migrate through, they really rely on these areas as a stopping point. So the next time you're driving into New York City from the New Jersey side, take note of the giant protruding rocks on the side of the road, and you've now been more familiarized with Snake Hill. See you later. I'm going back to fucking quarantine. Ugh.